Hello everybody, Infernape Shinjo here, and welcome back to what I guarantee is going to be a very heavy topic. And that topic is over dub versus sub. Honestly, I wanted to make a video like this for quite a long time, but I just couldn't get my words together in how I wanted to actually present it. But since I'm more or less rebranding the channel with a new Let's Play coming out and everything more or less changing, I decided this would probably be a good time to discuss it. How I'm going to make this video, I'm going to list off the pros and cons of each one and then give my own personal take on it. And because it's always the one that gets brought up in a conversation like this, I'm going to be referring more toward Pokemon's dub versus its sub for more of this video. But let's get into the video. And to start, I'm going to list off some pros of the dub because I figured to start off with that and then go off into the cons of the dub and then the pros and the cons of the sub. So some pros of the dub is it gives English voice actors a job and voice actresses I should say. Now you could easily say that for Japan but I know that people always talk about the job economy and stuff like that being kind of difficult in America. I'm not sure how it is for Japan but more or less this gives these voice actors and actresses a job at the end of the day. The second pro is it allows new voice actors and actresses to voice characters, give them a chance to show exactly what they got. Two examples I can think of are the dub of Kiawe and Lana. Now they might have voiced in other anime that I'm not aware of, but they're at least new to voicing characters in Pokemon. And I think that's just cool that they give new voice actors and actresses a chance to prove exactly how they can perform. And of course, since we're talking about the Pokemon dub, you do have to admit that there are some lines that are a lot funnier in the English dub. One example I can think of now, Brock's drying pan. If we didn't have the dub of Pokemon, Brock's drying pan would never have been a thing. But those are all the pros that I wrote down for the dub. If you can think of any other ones, then feel free to let me know. But on to the cons of the dub. The first one, and I feel like this is a big portion of it. Some people aren't a fan of the changes with dub music and some of the dub voice actors and actresses. A lot of the time it might not be against the people personally, just that they don't prefer the character that they're playing. Like people absolutely despised Ash's voice when Sarah Nada Cheney first came out to perform as Ash. But now I feel like people are more or less adapting to it and it's become like, oh, there's Ash's voice. Because I think Nada Cheney has voiced Ash longer than Veronica Taylor actually has at this point, which is kind of wild to think about. But obviously dub music, obviously people change the music from the Japanese over to the dub and a lot of people just don't like that because it more or less just reduces the tension of any scene, which I get that. And probably the biggest con for the dub is they even change plot points and dialogue. Outside of the instances of Brock's rice balls and Morrison's sandwich falling down the hill, I can't think of any other ones that would have been changed. The only other thing I can think that would have changed is any instance of death in Pokemon. Because even the Stoutland episode in Sun and Moon, I think they more or less centered that just to show that, oh, Stoutland didn't die, he just went off somewhere. But next we go all the way to the other side of the world to discuss the sub. And first up are the pros. Obviously, going back of what I just mentioned, you can watch it without any of the changes that they would have made, whether it be rice balls or any instances of death. You can watch it unedited. 
And the second thing is the subs most of the time are out ahead of the dubs. I know that there were times that My Hero Academia's sub and dub episodes were out on the same day, but for the most part, the subs are out earlier than the dubs to give the dub cast a chance to record. And obviously, since the subs are out quicker than the dub, you can watch the episode as quickly as you possibly can when you get a chance, and then discuss it with other people to feel like you're actually involved in something. Now, the cons for the sub, which I feel like this is where people are going to get up and armed for me more or less feeling like I'm bashing their precious subs, but the first thing that I could think of is you have to watch the scene and read the subs at the same time to figure out what's going on, and you might have to back it up a couple of times. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's just me that has a little bit of trouble reading the words on the bottom and noticing the things that are happening in the scene. Obviously you can just adapt to it and learn how to watch the scene and read the words at the same time. But that's one little minor thing that I could think of. And the second thing, which doesn't actually have to do with the subs itself, is sometimes the subs are out late. I know there were times that Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns was out later than expected because of delayed subs. But with all that out of the way, here are my thoughts on the whole dub versus sub debate. For me, most of the time, if there's a show available in dub and sub, I would choose dub 95% of the time. Nothing against subs, it's just that it's easier for me to watch a show when I can watch the scene and not have to worry about reading the words at the bottom at the same time. Now while I do say that, I do watch Pokemon in the Japanese and haven't watched the dub for a decently long time, so there is obviously some sort of differentiation with that. But like I did say, if there's a dub available, then I would more quickly pick the dub over the sub just for the fact of trying to multitask while watching the scene and reading the words at the same time. Plus with a lot of dubs that I've watched recently, a lot of voice actors and actresses do carry roles from one show to another and sometimes sound like the exact same voice, so that's just cool. And that really brings me back to when I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and found out that Brock and James from Pokemon were voiced by the same guy that voiced Kaiba in Yu-Gi-Oh! But if there's no other option, then I would watch a sub, obviously, because I've already mentioned that I watched the sub of Pokemon, and some shows never get dubs, which is kind of sad. But that is going to be the end of this very controversial video. I don't know, I might be saying all this stuff and there's no war that breaks out in the comment section. But I figured to at least preface it by saying that these are only my opinions, even though I actually didn't say that, but whatever. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there are any pros and cons for either side that you can think of down in the comment section. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And I will see you in the next one. Momentai. Bye-bye,